Vertigo was close. 13-10, a narrow victory for Badass, but Wildcard ran rampant on Nuke and took that one away with a bang. 13-2 to the finish. And they've called a timeout to kick off the pistol round here, Nate. They've started on the CT side. Not entirely sure if that means they won or lost the pistol. But it's Boggs and Pilot Phillips with you for the conclusion of this series. And Nate, I have to say, never mind, the logos are swapped. It's Badass who called a timeout to kick this one off. That's a confusing one. Say wildcard mind games. Badass, someone was in the restroom. <laughs> yep, 100%. It's got to be it. Someone's in the restroom or they're AFK or otherwise uh, involved and had themselves already readied up or something along those lines. Regardless, it was a brief one. No actual technical issues to be spoken of. And the investments look interesting. Utility for wildcard with four Kevlar. Four Kevlar, a kit, and dualies for Badass Gaming. And another aggressive pistol from wildcard. No nonsense. Straight out towards A or B. Excuse me. Or no, it is A. Excuse me. Get my letters mixed up. A is the name of the game. One player in Donut. Shane has so many players to worry about. He does find one. Drops the bomb as well, but it will be quickly recovered. Frankie in towards Temple. As a teammate as well, Brett with the P250 drops Dare. And Freshie, here's Project 90 racing away. Freshie in the smoke. One, please, maybe? <laughs> Not even. He's alive, sure, but could have been two kills at least for the Glock. Frankie does him in. Brett across the map, however, gets the kill. It's around the world towards B. Samarana will get the letter right. Two versus two. There's a kit for the defense. It's going to take a minute to get back on the site, though. They know where Brett is. Do they know where Cryptic is? They're starting to clear him out. Frankie's been spotted. Brett needs to get the tap, but he gets tapped instead. Time for defuse. And Badass will take round number one. The bomb plan coming through, though. Wild card can force up. And I'm going to say they probably will. That's a Can critical win for Badass there. They needed a good start after that abysmal nuke. And they got the start they needed. Yes, they did. Start they required. Keep in mind it was, what, a 2-10 half? Yep, 2-10. Well on their way to a far better scoreline in map number three. Wildcard, as you mentioned, will invest two Mac tens, a Deagle, and two Galils. Kind of all over the place. But I'm sure it's to facilitate utility. It's gonna walk right into the smoke of Jaguar. It is given up. I believe that was the res lineup for the Molotov as well to get control of Jaguar. Spam through the wall, not even finding much of anything. Freshie, a lurk, double thinks one, takes lots of damage, sure, but it's a lot of inroads over towards A. Snab in the meanwhile, sna snags Cryptic. So four versus four, more or less even footing. Snab on four, Freshie on ten. Sight control taken towards A. Sight control taken. Bomb will go down, but the retake is on the cards here for Badass. Though Snav is on 4 HP, Freshie's on 10. No nades except for the two on wild card. Smoke's on three for the badass. And the peak out from Shane gets two. Freshie a little too late on that second swing. This leaves just the SMGs and Donut to hold this one out. The nades, will they combine for what they need? One nade in, not enough, but it does stop the plant. Already got two with it. One with the nade, one with the spam. Slight needs to go for this now. The stick, the horn is here. Slight's got it up in the ammunition pouch. And Project 90. Almost down, but not out. 2 nothing the start for Badass. Another plant, though. Theoretically, Wild Card could force again. And considering the amount of damage dealt to Badass's economy, it would not be a bad idea. And they think so, too. They're going back in again, Nate. But considering it is first to 13, that also could put them behind the eight ball quite early. It could, but the loss bonus combined with the bomb plant means the buy is going to be even more formidable than the last. Everyone will actually have primary weapons this time. It's on the up and up. They can definitely punish the CT economy. If they win this round, they should have two, two under wraps. There's a lot of caves control already. Wild Carter figuring out the tendencies of Badass. And again, a Mac 10 entry this time towards B. Trade, and again, a double, though, in response from Snav. Taking them both down through the caves. Brett, 
well timed the peak finds one dare faking no cigar on the peak on the response brett doubles up for his own pair three versus two b site secured and bomb plant should be forthcoming as well no smokes to masquerade the crossings instead of double peak towards long freshy and brett combined for one the last live chain is trying to find something only one though good response from freshy pressing up short and wildcard swiftly on the board picking up the m4s as well the economy of badass is in a very bad way wildcard can actually steal away the lead entirely here badass are going for an investment if they lose this round it will be 2-2 and then wildcard should have an easy waltz to a third well they can still save or sell i mean but now they're gonna go all in badass which means yes an easy waltz to a third if wildcard convert here in round four Bit of an if, considering the Deagles are out the rifle for Dare. Nades on the Project 90, down to half HP. Tucks back into the corner to stay alive. No A pressure at all from Wildcard. Badass have Dare pushed all the way through with the M4. That could come back and bite Wildcard severely in the behind. Dare's going to T-spawn, though, and does he get by? He does slip through the gap. Oh, lordy nee, look at where they've gone. Freshy caught by Dare stomping around. Now they know, but the problem is they've lost their man. And now, Wildcard have to make it all work from down a player. Shane gonna get overwhelmed here, able to get the reload off, and somehow get a kill out of that. Traded back into a 3v3, but geez louise, that was way too close. It was, and this duel from Slight could be foolhardy. He has the bomb, and he's alone. He's gonna drop it and go for the duel. Ego Peak drops Project 90, secures the main advantage, and they will double back. Wildcard have been less decisive and more so wishy-washy in which direction they want to go. It's been multiple rounds now where this happened, and it might be their undoing. Snav lucky, rather unlucky, as Cryptic dodges the shots. Bomb plant secured, but... Do they expect the second in dare to be all the way up at ramp? Yes, is the answer. That's the rifle wielder dispatched. An AK upgrade for Cryptic. Just snav on a deagle. Tagged, bagged. No, he finds the other. Excuse me. Slight gets taken down by a 1D. Now snav has a rifle of his own to say. That'll help out into the next round for sure. But it'll be the hero rifle unless badass want to go for another invest because the force by wars don't necessarily favor badass at this point Terrorists we have a tie ball game too no money to buy around this it would be foolhardy to go all in just hero rifle this get a kill maybe two deagle out maybe something Let's just do a little bit of damage, see where it takes you. Don't gamble on this round. Too early, and not enough cost-benefit analysis to the positive. Slight bringing out the op here could actually come back and bite Wildcard too, because that puts him in an awkward spot if he gets pistol rushed. Yes, it does. It boosted up the end support from Cryptic down below. In fact, a majority of the squad is here. Right, and there are three defenders, but two are locked out behind the smoke. Cryptic taking point. The IGL finds the first, looking for more. All four approaching from CT Swan. This boost is not yielding anything, but the USP will. Frank finds that Freshie will take up his teammate. Stead only good for one. Dare one digs in response. Now things can get dicey, especially with the M4 in Dare's hands. He finds Darty slight on the op. It's a fickle weapon to use, but can he do it when his team needs him the most? Both players grouped up. Boosted the angle spot tag good kill on the first but still two more to find no flash over so Crypt brett can get aggressive excuse me good flashlight a second the last alive is not on the bomb brett will bait for his teammate and they will combine fire when needed well done from slight and brett to rein things back in wild card do establish a lead that was just a half buy all these rounds have been contentious despite badass gaming not really putting too much into it well done indeed, though, from those two, Brit and Slight. The early kills that Badass got were because Wildcard overextended. So, that was Wildcard being too lax, thinking, no, well, we got this in the bag, boys, let's just fight. 
Badass have enough individuals to go to punish you with the demons. We've seen that throughout the course of this game. Map 1 and even some on map 2. Wild spray from Brett does get one for one. But I think right now Wild Card will take that advantage because it's 4v4. Lots of space Ooh. and now a man advantage as Frankie gets domed by Cryptic in towards Donut. Brew goes Dare and he's traded it back. Dare is daring to try them. Freshy does not know he slipped through, but he has to know it is a possibility. Freshy! Freshy! He was forced ahead, Freshy. The Molotov was there, it compelled them into the site. He got a clear, buddy. To respect the possibilities. Yeah. Must have thought he spotted him or something else because that was a lot of conviction walking into that exposed angle. Guardy in slight. Two versus three walking up caves. It is a hands off setup towards B. Ninety all the way in the back lines. He does lots of damage, but he can't get the kill. Bomb plant secured. Again, the op has to do a lot here. Order the cross. He'll find the shot. Slight. It's waking up and again. Seems like the op changes have not affected him too crazily. He's already ready for this flank. Dare's coming in with the AK. Slight, this is a very scary angle to hold with the op. Dare clearing it? No. Slight, a free kill onto a walking player. And a fourth secured for wildcard. Again, none of these rounds are easy. None of these rounds are convincing shutouts. But dubs are dubs. Four to two. It's like we say in hockey, doesn't matter if it's bar down or if it's a greasy garbage goal. The goal is a goal. Right now, wild card. They're getting it done with the greasy goals. They're just jamming away in the crease and getting it over the line. It's not pretty, but it works. Maybe here or later they'll come down with a snipe and in the top cheddar. But as of right now, just get pucks on net, get people in there, and hope it goes in. That's what's working. This round should be a little cleaner, though. They've only got pistols up against them, and they should have learned their lesson. Keyword should. One donut, one on site. Donut is out now. Rotation's coming through. Nice! One dig from Frankie to open it up, so I guess no learning lesson yet. No flashbang over top. Kind of does hurt. Uh, wild card. Entry. Freshy one, but he takes so much damage. He'll sit in the square, but he will not get the bomb down. Dare with a 5-7 this time. To a 3v3 as Slight trades one back. Frankie's still in Donut. Cryptic knows this and he spots the gun. Water it, right? I thought he did. He 180 back. It was just a bit of a delayed reaction. I think he got a call from a teammate, perhaps. Yep. It could always be a res issue. Slight with the op drop snap. The last alive is Dare. We saw him get one through the smoke with the 5 7, but one is a little bit too much luck to be pushing. No more left for him in that round. 5 to 2, 3 survive. Rifle's finally coming out yet again for Badass Gaming, but Wildcard have established quite a lead for themselves. Looking very good for them on the attacking side. They can get the half at 7-5. I think Wildcard are more than set. Anything more is going to be even more punishing against Badass Wildcard. Not going to pressure instantly towards A this time. More of a beast. Sneak deep. Oh, Molotov will not stop Darty. You takes just shy of 38 feet. Ghost Nav is here. Wild Spray empty-handed on the frag. Nav is able to get out of dodge. And Dare catches a walk peeking cryptic. Maybe needed to be a cryptid to get by that obstacle. Brett falls to the low HP Shane. Rather was Snap was doing my bad there, but Slight also goes down to the op. Freshy and Darty. Two very similar players in terms of how they normally position themselves in the map. The Freshy. Maybe somebody looked to a little more to get the kills on the board. Snap peeking deep, holding. Double swing. He had backup. Didn't matter if he got the kill or not. Good setup there from Badass, and the bomb will be spotted. I don't think it was. I think it's hidden behind the box. Hmm. Fresh, he's got time, but this is pretty unwinnable. Now the bomb should be known. No back from Snap should spot it. And Dare's already holding the double back into middle from the T crossing. Or the CT crossing, excuse me. All the way back of B. Fresh, he's probably going to have to save his gun, if anything, unless he wants to die quickly. Three to five secured, though, at this point. Pretty much guaranteed. 
ink just has to dry. You still see that preference for the AK in spite of the very difficult spray transfer. The one taps. That's what you want. It's true. The duck up with your one taps. Scream reference for those of you wondering. And it's kind of an Are old we reference. That now. old where Scream is a reference we had to explain. Well, yeah, because Scream is now a Valorant player, buddy. I hate to tell you. <sighs> Seriously? No. Seriously? No. Immediately calling a tactical pause. You heard it typed in chat the moment the round ended. Yep. A tick. It's a good tech. It is. Darty's quite low. I probably need a dropped weapon. Brett could drop a Galil if necessary. Mac tenant. Get Darty some Mac fast. The Mac tenant has worked incredibly oh. well. But no, there's actually an AK on the ground. Oh no. This... No, Brett dropped it and I think he sold a piece of utility. Darty has no head armor though. Hmm. Worth. I'd say it's worth it for the utility, yeah. Immediate lineup off a of spawn for the red doors, I'm sure. No donut. Oh, yeah, no, that is red. Donut's a different one, I think. Yeah, they had two lineups from the outset. Yeah. Cryptic early lean towards A. We've not seen an outright A main play. But op. Deer's holding it with the op. Yeah, it's going to be a walk in for Cryptic and a free kill. All of Cryptic's teammates were way too far gone. No chance for them to trade. I say a lot of this round rests on Brett lurking up red doors at this stage. Yeah, Frankie could also stop this single-handedly if he walks out. He's got help from Dare, too. They're going to double-peak this. Do they clear? Yes, they do. No, they nope. don't. Do they expect Dare? Surely not, though. Freshie is here, though. And Dare is ready for this. He has an idea. There's a couple people around. Brett spotted. Dare out. Freshie capitalizes. They know where Shane is, too. Brett already saw him. And Freshie's booking it to A. He's got a teammate with him in slight on the off cross angle. And there goes Shane. He walks into the off. Nice little Ooh. drive by Snap. That is a crisper. Freshie will deny any further heroics. Leaving Project 90 in the 1v3. That's a self -flash. No, that's a flash from Project 90. Freshie and tags down. Brett finishes him off. Up to Darty Montana. Coming in through Donut. Mullet man himself. We'll have to do it all. It is planted for him. And there is a smoke for Project 90. Smoke onto the bomb. Darty not peeking yet. Tap, spray, and spray. No kill, no spray. Not even no close, luck. not even close. No round. It's Project 90. What's the ninja? At least Darty gets out of there alive. But what an awful round to lose for Wildcard. A 1v3 where they just get picked apart, and then the ninja comes through to finish it off. An unfortunate end to what was a good round. Both Freshy and Brett dying towards the middle. Something that can't be happening there. Second tactical pause being used by Badass. Keep in mind they used their first at the start of this half. The start of this map even. Their economy is still not in the best of ways. They have the op on the ground, but a lot of players are dipping deep into their savings. They're not really building up too much economy. That being said, neither is Wildcard. Dardy's going to have the AK. Do they force around it? Kind of. Cryptic's going all in, but Freshie and Brett are not. That'd be a half buy for wildcard. Maybe, okay. Brett, slight invest. Freshie kind of doesn't. Cryptic, do okay. It's going to be an investment. Freshie must be saving for the op. I think that's the goal. That has to be it. I mean, the Galil can still do some work. And the Mac 10s could overwhelm Shane and Donut. He gets one, but not the second. Cryptic flies around that corner. Now there's an M4. Frankie one for one with slight. Bomb going down on A again, but Freshy caught by Dare's op, who is really heating up here on Ancient. Spotted by Slight, though. That is a tiny pixel angle. The spray does not convert on the third contact. Cryptic, 1v2 from Donut. They do have that smoke, and it lands on the bomb. Tap. They're trying to bait him out, and he's got the right idea. 
snap shows. Brilliant shot from Cryptic. And his spray does not find the low HP Project 90. This ninja considerably more difficult. He's got to take the fight. Timing is everything. Cryptic on the angle. Headshot for extra overkill. And a little bit of the banter moment coming through, Nate. 6 4 for the wild card. Banter moment. BM banter moment. Tactical pause now exchanged by wildcard. Calm things down after a clutch like that. Makes sense. Figure out the economy. Talk things out now that you've broken badass. Establish a nice lead going into the second half. There's only two rounds remaining. Should get a seventh and hopefully an eighth off the back of that. That should set you up well going into the CT side of Ancient. Only a couple more rounds to go, just two. Eight to four possible. Seven to five, likely the best case scenario for Badass unless they're able to pull off some magic deagle shots. Darty still has the SMG too, no helmets for Badass and... Brett will actually start the first one off well. Krieg finds nothing, but it's good to see that coming through in the early days of CS2. They know where Project 90 is, they also know where Snab is. He is tagging, but he gets bagged instead. Molotov is a little bit to Darty, but he's able to continue fighting on, pushing down towards Cube. Breshi gets another, has support from Darty, so it's not just a solo push, much better that way. Now it's just cleanup operation, slight three, and a second as he trades out Fresh U and a little bit too aggressive. 7 4, last round of the half, fourth coming. Badass may have a glass cannon on Dare or will be without an AWP. That's done okay, but it hasn't been the showstopper that it was on Nuke. Or on Vertigo, even. It did have moments on Nuke. Definitely had moments on Vertigo as well. Slight going for the op light remaining on the Krieg. Last round of the half upon us. At us and Sem the Bleeding get a fifth. Bring it within two, or Wildcard can really begin to establish a lead of four rounds heading into the second. Good start for Frankie between the two smokes, taking down Cryptic. It's not a commitment, just an, a walk around. Double stack in towards B. Good read and adjustment from Wildcard. Light can't get the kill. Two main advantage secured for Badass Gaming. That's a nice finish from Brett on to Project 90, but it's still a 2v, now 1v3 for Darty as Snav comes on the flank. Shane in cave. Expected, but he needs a friend to be with him. In comes Frankie on the backstab. 7 5 will be the score at the half. It's salvageable for Badass. But Wildcard go to the favored CT side with a lead. Looking to get their next win in ECL and go 7-0. Will it happen? Find out after the break. Love it, you wear it. What's your style? Get your merch at shop.eslgaming.com.
Badass stemmed the bleeding, brought it back within two, but can they mount the comeback here with a pistol round victory? I'm Pineapple Phillips, joined by Boggs, and what looked like a fast play towards B has slowed down a little bit, and Wildcard have stacked the site with many a cantrip. Four players here, slight with duelies. Count that as five with two pairs of pistols, in fact. Snab the last remaining throwing utility with a bomb on his back. Pairs very little better. He found one, and that's all he'll get done. Cryptic and Slight, the duelies putting in work. And as we mentioned at the start of the show, it was kind of the freshy show for Wildcard with no support. And now everybody's finding their groove. Sure, Slice atop top with 14. Guardy below at 7. But it's a nice spread for them on the scoreboard. The scoreline definitely hits them as the favorite here. Uh, winning both pistols would have made it a lot more reasonable for Badass. But wild card give themselves that little extra boost. They already had pole position. They get out of that first turn much better than Badass here in the second half. Snab and Dare can't really do much here. As Dare eats a nade to go down first. Project 90 goes down. Bomb will go planted. But a mop-up operation. Brett gets one on the UMP. That's not one I've seen yet in CS2. That means he has probably, I'm going to guess, no MP5 slash MP7. And that would be fair, because those guns do typically suck. Nate, you're going to be that harsh on them. I'm a big MP5 enjoyer. I have it equipped. You're an MP5 enjoyer? Of course, it's a terrible gun. That's why I use it. I'd rather use the Bison. It sounds better. Oh, I have the Bison equipped, too. Good lord. <laughs> You're a menace. I'm actively sabotaging my team. <laughs> you are a menace. Make no mistake, the MP9 is the only SMG you need. The other four slots are just funny. That is true. Although, I have the Negev equipped, so I can't say it. I move too slow with that gun. It makes me, uh, ocean sick. Op present for Dare early on. Cryptic with the MP9 is up close and winning. A lot of players again on B. Wildcard continuing to make the right reads. Frankie and Snap finding inroads, but Freshie is here spamming away so much damage to the last two. They might both fall to this nade. Instead, only one does. Snap down to 16. Looking for this flank. It doesn't matter though. Brett will have him dead to rights given the HP disparity. Op recovered for Slight. And a very succinct road to 10 and probably 11, given the economy of Badass. Yeah, 11 very likely, and that just puts Wildcard on the fast track to victory. Badass in the fast lane down under, and not to Australia. Speaking of, I am Sydney, starting on the 16th, so... I'm going to say three and a half days, as today's pretty much the 13th majority of people in the U.S. Over in Europe, it's already the 13th for you guys, so about three days for you. Cryptic goes fishing with the MP9. He gets gobbled up by Snav instead, but he does a good amount of damage to the two in towards caves, Snav and Dare. Both below the half HP point. Brett going up Snake will at least get one. Snake should finish up at Snav as well. It does. Darty gets digged, but we're still at 3v3. Yes, we are. Frankie has an AK. A hero. He doesn't really activate either, but towards the middle, he could drop Brett, and that might open Pandora's box. And towards red doors. You know, all badass gaming's play rests on this Frankie flank. That posted, walks in, finds the kill. Good job from Brett. Now Shane and Project 90 probably feel compelled to go in towards B, and they shall. Wildcard are making the wrong read, though. They think it's going to be A based off that player trying to flank. It's not the case. Freshy will hear the bomb plant eventually, but it's going to have to be a retake from all three of Wildcard. They've already done damage on a Project 90, and Freshy will finish the job. Nadal chunk Shane down at 7 HP. That was a little more anticlimactic than I thought it would be. Headshot for Shane and not for Fresh Word. That's low. Shane down to the duelies of Slight. Huh? That's an interesting choice. He's feeling it. That's all I can say. He's feeling it. Yeah. That range going for the headshot with the duelies instead of your op. 
Especially when you're top the server. Mm -hmm. It's great to see the slide in this kind of form. It is. Especially I was worried about the slump from coming oh. up for. Yeah. I was ready to cross the board for every opera in existence, given the changes. I'm glad to say Dare's still doing fine. And so is Slight. I would say Slight's doing more than fine right now, because his rifling's also been good. That's fair. But I want to see him deady rifle, or deady op, excuse me. You're going to need your opera to be a much more prolific rifler in CS2. I feel just because of how Peeker's advantage is on the CT side versus T side. That's fair. I think we'll see a lot more rifle, five rifle lineups on CT in general, or on T, I mean. But it's definitely going to be a very interesting adjustment period. And as changes are happening pretty much every single day, who knows? They might give, they might reverse the Kenny S nerf. They might. Layer towards top snake taken down. It's a good opening for Badass, the first that they've had in quite a while. It's going to be a group towards A now. Freshy is spotting. If the op of Dare swings at the right time, it could catch his shoulder. His hands shaking up and down. That means he has a smoke primed and ready. Comes the utility. She throws out oh, a Molotov, not a smoke. That does a lot more damage. One secured. Good quick scope from Dare, but the flames dip away at his heels. Three versus three. Nice double from Freshy. Rare slight miss on the op. No press all the way out. Temple, though. I didn't even drop the bomb carrier. They don't expect this kind of audacious play. He'll find one. He'll force the bomb to stop planting while Brett presses. That's two for none. The last alive towards Donut will get one. Snab, sure. But the op of slight has more than enough time to reach Amber. 12 to 5. Seven map and series points for wildcard. As the reverse sweep seems like an inevitability at this stage. It really does seem like an inevitability, Nate. It really seems like Wildcard have done everything right on the last two maps. 13-2 on Nuke. And now a potential for a 13-5. Took them a while to get their first map in CS2, but it has not taken them long to get to match point what could be their second map victory in CS2. Good nade damage. Brett with the spray. Frankie the first one to fall. Not the start badass needed. It's a long road of seven in a row required. OT and a leg shot from Slight. Brett peeks out and finishes the job. He's on one HP, but he's done more than enough. Slight gets caught. Dare might have been blind, but he got the spot before he did. And Freshy on the flank. Through A main, might run into Dare. It's a matter of who peeks right. And it will be Freshy. One left is Snav. Bomb in mid. Good crisp headshot. Now, wildcard, don't give this one away. Not again. He's getting chunked. He's getting pressured. They're walking in on him. Brett dinks him to the floor. And Brett's quad will get wildcard across the line. 13-5 on map three. A close loss on number one on Vertigo, but Nuke looks really good for Wildcard. Ancient strong as well against Badass and Nate. Wildcard remain undefeated.